Hey, what's up? Welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions and everything technology related. Uh, I got a, a question through Scribit, which I've talked about in a previous video. Scribit is the uh, widget that you can put on your blog and have people suggest or request things for you to write about or do a video blog about. And uh, I got a request from an anonymous person, anonymous user of Scribit, someone who reads my blog but not a Scribit user. They wanted to know what is the best antivirus out there. It's a great question because today, as you know, there are a number of different ways you can get yourself and your or your computer at least not yourself unless you can contract computer viruses. And if that's the case, maybe you want to see a doctor. But um, there are a number of ways you can contract a computer virus on your machine now. Um, whether it be a virus, a Trojan, some kind of uh, spyware or malware, which in that case you might want to check out more of a uh, anti-malware application, which I recommend. Malware Bytes is anti-malware, of course. Did a video on that. But for an antivirus software, um, oftentimes you will hear, you know, people at, you know, Geek Squad maybe, or, you know, your local computer shop even. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes not, but... More often than not, you will hear people recommend uh, Symantec, um, Norton, um, which, which is owned by Symantec, Norton Antivirus, or McAfee Antivirus, which, 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 don't get me wrong, the companies, they used to make good products, but now they're just bloated, they have the, the definition files which catch the viruses on your machine are not nearly up to speed or um, of the same caliber of the ones I'm going to recommend to you today. Um, so, that being said, I don't recommend Norton, I do not. I do not recommend McAfee, I do not. I don't even recommend Computer Associates anymore. Um, they used to, they had a, they had a, a, a kind of a free year where, uh, they provided a free license to people, and it was, it was okay. Uh, I used to recommend it on and off, but my favorite by far, there is one company called ESET, E-S-E-T, e -S -E -T, that's ESET. They make a product called NOD32, NOD32. It is by far the best antivirus on the market, by far. Um, it's not free, however, but it is the best. And I recommend that you purchase the software for an antivirus. However, I know there are free solutions out there, and they do a pretty decent job. AVG was one of them. However, AVG is currently uh, moving away from the free platform, and they will no longer be providing a free product. So, in that case, I recommend you check out either anti uh, anti vir a anti vir a v i r, which is a, a free uh, antivirus solution, which is pretty decent. So if you if you're tight on money, um, you know you don't have you can't spend what I uh, I think I, I think nod thirty two what is it like uh, I think it's like thirty something dollars maybe forty. Um, a year for the year subscription really good um, so check that out antivir is pretty decent also avast avast has been around and they've been competing with avg in the free market but now that avg has moved out of the free market avast has come in and a lot of people are switching to that i know a lot of people like avast i've never personally used it but i've heard very good things about it so you might want to check out avast as well as another free option um, but my favorite by far is nod32 made by the company called eset um, it's not too expensive. Their definition files are up, updating all the time. I, had a, I have a friend, Pierce, online. Okay, it's 40 bucks. All right, NOD 32, not 32, is 40 bucks. I, um, so it is, it's, well, it's 39.99, but it's 40 bucks. Uh, for a year, subscription, which is not bad. It's not bad. So I'll provide all the information on the blog post with the links and stuff to the software. But I recommend you check out NOD 32. And to be honest, it, um, I have a friend, like I was saying, Pierce online, and uh, he um, was he was you know praising them uh, a few a few winters ago when they updated their antivirus definitions on Christmas. He was like, "Wow, I've never seen something like it." That shows you their dedication. That they're willing to update their definitions on Christmas. They're working on it all the time, fighting the fighting the viruses in, out there on the web. So I, I recommend NOD32. Other people also. I'm going to bring this up because I you know. I, I should. Other people also like uh, Kaspersky, which is a, a Russian uh, Russian company, and they make um, decent software as well. I, I mean, their software is not bad. I know a lot of people like it. 
They have also great definition files and great detection along with NOD32. I prefer NOD32. It's light on resources. Completely, it doesn't use very much resources. By resources, I mean memory on your computer. And uh, really, really light footprint. And that means light on resources. So, great definitions, great heuristics, which allows them to catch things that they don't have definitions for, but learn, basically, they can tell what's what, just, um, you know, by, by association, by previous definitions. And yes, they do have a 30-day trial, which you can test out and download from their website for free for 30 days. So, evaluate it. See if it works for you. That's all. What I always say is, if it works for you, great. Use it. Then that's fine. But, you know, I'm recommending this, so check it out. And uh, also, one more thing, one, and one more thing Steve Jobs would say, uh, just wanted to point out that I do not, you know, there are a number of these suites, these security suites, they call them, um, that come with all different, especially Symantec is notorious for doing this. They bundle it with computers that you purchase, some from Dell or HP or whatnot, and they come with these security suites. And basically, the security suites, um, they come with all these registry detection tools and file cleanup and blah, 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 and firewalls and, uh, you know, everything, antivirus, whatever, anti-malware, if they, you know, they include all that. And what they do is they bog down your system. They make it slow. It, it, it guarantee you if you removed it and you installed an NOD32, probably speed up. It, it, would, it would be a huge performance increase. These softwares are huge, um, these sweet softwares, and they, they, they really slow down your system. So I highly recommend you stay away from those. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, whoever um, asked this question via Scribbit. I, I recommend, or I, I, would, I welcome people um, suggesting stuff on Scribbit. You can get to uh, my Scribbit widget by going to my website, besttakey.net slash blog, or going to besttakey.net and clicking on the blog um, navigation button. And you can just recommend what you, what you or request what I, uh, what, I do, what I do videos on, what I write about. And if, I, if enough gets enough votes, I'll be more than happy to talk about it. So do that. Recommend stuff that you want me to do on Scribbit. And uh, who knows, I might just do it. This has been live.besttaken. And I, I appreciate your watching. And uh, till next time, we'll see you.